Hey guys, it's Promise. This is part two of the driving controls. In part one, I talked about turns and maneuvers, but before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and perform a reverse parallel park. So my wheels are straight. I'm gonna roll straight back. You see me looking over my right shoulder. Uh, we have this orange car here. I'm gonna turn my wheels all the way to the right. You can look at the backup camera. And I go in at a 45 angle, and then I turn back all the way to the left. And I'm going in at a 45 angle. You see me looking and checking, and you see the backup camera. On your DMV tester road test, you will have to perform a maneuver, and then you can straighten out your wheels and pull forward. That is a passing maneuver. Now I'm gonna keep my promise to you. We're gonna do part two, and this is driving controls. The first thing I'm gonna do is reverse back. I look over my shoulder. I roll straight back and I check. Then I'm going to reverse and do a three point turnaround. You see me looking and checking. And you may have to do these type of maneuvers. I'm gonna turn back. I'm looking over my shoulder and you can see the backup camera doing its job. I'm looking, I'm checking. I'm gonna go straight up and you see me checking, looking both ways. Going up slow, not overturning my wheel, taking my time, and I'm rolling up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back in a little bit more. If you're not sure, go slow. Do not move the car until the tester tells you. You see the backup camera chime? That's a warning sign. That's telling you information. Now I'm gonna put it in park. Let's talk about our vehicle right now. Um, you have to put your foot on the brake in order to get the car in gear. If you don't put your foot on the brake, it won't go in gear. P is for park. Your car will not move. It is locked. The transmission locks. In order to get the car to move, you have to put your foot on the brake. Now, I can go into R. There's the backup camera. Okay? R is for reverse. N is for neutral. The transmission and engine are not connected. D is for drive. And then we have an L. This is for a lower gear for going uphill or downhill. Now I'm gonna put it back in park. This car has lane departure. So if you depart from your lane, you will hear a chime. This also has park assist to assist you in parking. Okay, let's talk about our dashboard a second. Up is for a right. You will see the blinker, you will hear it. Some cars have a light underneath the mirror. The front flasher will be flashing, the rear flasher on the right side will be flashing. Down is left. You can hear it, you can see it, the left flasher and the front will be flashing, the rear bulb will be flashing left. So remember, let's review, up is for right, down is for left, okay? Let's talk about our lights. Here, this car has daytime running lights. They're on and this is for safety. You will have to push the button and turn it to the right to activate the headlights, okay? Also, let's talk about our uh, cruise control. On the steering wheel, some cars have a cruise control button where you would push and hold this button. This will activate the cruise control after 30 miles an hour. You can set that if you're taking a long distance trip. If you receive a phone call, and I don't recommend you talking on the phone when you're driving, but you can push this button and then you can hear the person talking to you, okay? This car also has added safety features of a driver's side airbag. You can see where there's airbag here. We have a passenger side airbag. We have side airbags that are in the vehicle. Whenever you're driving, you want to look ahead and properly adjust your mirrors. You can see me adjusting the mirrors. Let's talk about side mirrors for a moment. You can pull these mirrors in. You can push them out. You want to properly adjust your mirror. You want to look straight ahead and see a little bit of the car. We can see a little bit of the car. The same thing on the passenger side mirror. You can see a little bit of the car. 
So when you look straight ahead, you can use your eyes to look in the center mirror, uh, the driver's side mirror, and the passenger side mirror. So now that our mirrors are adjusted, let's talk about some of the things in the automobile. This vehicle has OnStar, that is a safety feature. You push the button in case you're stranded. This will give you turn by 